organisations in Gwynedd and beyond are keen to employ staff who have bilingual skills so that they're able to complete tasks where the ability to use Welsh is essential. In what ways are bilingual skills valuable as part of the recruitment processes of these organisations? When we do advertise for um, new staff, all the adverts are only advertised in the Welsh language because they must be able to speak Welsh and read and write in order to work for ATRA. And the reason for that being that they must be able to deal with our customers. Our customers have specific expectations. They know it's a Welsh company. What we sell is Welsh. Our website is bilingual. Our products uh, feature the Welsh language. So they expect every time, whether it, they email us, whether they phone us, whether they drop into the shop, they expect a service in the medium of Welsh. So everybody that works for Atra or, or deals with our customers must be able to do that through the medium of Welsh. All posts in Northern Police are in effect um, Welsh essential. The question is what level of Welsh is required for that particular post. For some posts uh, it's important that people are entirely fluent in Welsh to deliver an entirely bilingual service and for other posts it's sufficient that the post holder is as a minimum able to demonstrate linguistic courtesy in Welsh. And then we have a process whereby we identify which level of Welsh is required for any particular post. When we bring freelance workers into a, into a project, we prefer to bring in somebody who, who speaks Welsh because then they, they fit into the, uh, the ethos of what we already have here. More and more organisations are now keen to recruit individuals with bilingual skills. Therefore, the ability to operate effectively and confidently through the medium of Welsh and English is a worthwhile skill. Local Police has made a decision previously that ability in the Welsh language is a skill uh, side by side with other policing skills. The level of language ability or linguistic ability is dependent on the, the role that that person plays and we consider it um, proactively. As organisations promote the use of Welsh for internal operation and administration, one advantage is that they develop and increase the employability of staff, therefore demonstrating readiness to invest in their workers. In terms of Welsh being a priority in the workplace for us and in terms of achievements and in terms of boosting staff confidence and ability to communicate in Welsh, we use it as part of our appraisal or personal development review on an annual basis. The fact that they are well speaking uh, offers employees the opportunities to develop their careers uh, and build on skills that they already have. It also enables them to maybe uh, gain promotion within the company uh, and to develop their, their, their careers further. By using Welsh in the workplace, staff develop a useful and valuable skill then. And this can help in their career development. It's a huge advantage to the, to the employees as well if they're able to speak Welsh um, because they will need that skill in, in any field of work which deals with, um, with the public. Staff are very well, very aware of their worth, if you like, by being able to provide you know, a Welsh speaking engineering service.